from the Digital Media Center on the campus of Southern Oregon University in Ashland, Oregon. This is Ramping Up Your English, an educational program for intermediate level English language learners. Here's your host for Ramping Up Your English, John Letts. Welcome to Ramping Up Your English. Ramping Up Your English is for English language learners from all language backgrounds who have already begun the process of learning English as their second language. It's a program for people of all ages. If you're seeking greater English proficiency, this program is designed to help you reach that goal. Ramping Up Your English is a support program for English learners who've already passed the beginning stages of learning English. We take a content-based approach to helping you reach higher English proficiency. We use English to teach English. The theme of our first unit is Trains and Railroads. Well, one way that ramping up your English helps viewers improve their English is by developing listening skills. Today, we're going to give you something great to listen to while suggesting some reading skills as well. Our special guest today is Will. Will, welcome to Ramping Up Your English. Hi, I'm Will Wass. Um, today, I will be reading uh, Kate Shelley and the Midnight Express, so let's get to it. And this is a story of something that really happened. So it's a book called, as he said, Kate Shelley and the Midnight Express. Some friends have joined us here to be engaged in this engaging story. So welcome everybody to Ramping Up Your English. Well, I'll stop here so I don't give away the story. I don't want to spoil it. If you've watched previous episodes, you have enough background about trains and railroads to follow this story, just as our listeners in the studio will be following. They'll be following Will as he reads Kate Shelley in the Midnight Express. The only thing I'll explain is that an express train is a train that doesn't stop at every station. You'll get the rest by listening to the whole story. So Will, take it away. Moingona, Iowa, July 6, 1881. 15-year-old Kate Shelley pulled the sheets from the line. A terrible storm was coming. Kate could feel it in the air. A cold wind rose as she carried the heavy basket back to the house. Black clouds rolled in. The sky grew dark. Kate stood at the kitchen window <clears throat> with her younger sisters and brother. They saw lightning flash. They heard thunder crack in the hills. As the rain poured down, they watched the water rising in Honey Creek. Soon it overflowed its banks. I'm going to let the animals out of the barn, Kate said. If the water keeps rising, they could drown. Be careful you don't slip, her mother warned. Kate ran down the hill. She waded through the muddy water to the barn. She let out two horses and chewed them off to higher ground. She drove the cows up the hill. Then she hurried back to the barn. She picked up some piglets and carried them to the house. By this time, she was soaked to the skin. Kate put on dry clothes and went back to the window. The rain had not let up. The, to, the flood water was coming closer to the house. The, when the lightning flashed, Kate could see the shining railroad tracks on the other side of Honey Creek. Kate peered through the rain, trying to see the railroad bridge over Honey Creek. How was it holding up in the storm? After supper, the younger children went to bed. Nine-year-old Mamie wanted to stay awake with Kate and her mother. They sat at the kitchen table talking about the dangers of the storm. They were worried about the men on the railroad road. <clears throat> At midnight, an express train would pass the Moingona station. Without stopping, it would cross the long bridge. 
over Des Moines River. Then it would cross the bridge over Honey Creek near Kate's house. Were the bridges safe? This is a good time to give Will a little break and make sure that we're following the story. Uh, among our audience here, is there anyone who can tell us what has happened so far in the story? What, what do you uh, know so far? Well, there was a, fl a flood and uh, Kate went to get the animals out of the barn so they could get to higher ground. And they're also worried about if the bridges for the express train are safe or if they're not. That is called a summary, and you did a very nice job on that. Uh, what is your name? Uh, my name is Phoenix. Phoenix, you did a fine job on that. Uh, based on the action so far, you've told us very well about what's going on. Let's hear what happens next. So, Will, we'll let you read again to our audience here about Kate Shelley and the Midnight Express. All right.